Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back again with the Ask BB Hawaii question. Um, I'm trying something a little different and filming on the beach today. I do apologize for the loud sounds in the background. This is my first time doing this. But I wanted to show you guys the beach that's like a mile from my house. So on my free time, if I want to come to study or just get away from the house or actually walk to the beach it's like a mile well not even a mile it's like a less than a mile walk but yeah i just wanted to show you guys the beach um i know that some people forget that i'm from hawaii because i'm always filming in my little room so i'm trying to get out a little bit more and do some recording outside the box but yeah, so you guys, please stay tuned for this Ask BB Hawaii. And if you guys like videos like this and want to see more of Hawaii, just let me know in the comment section. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alrighty. Are watching me record. There's already like this guy on the other side of the camera waving at me. So I'm just going to ignore him. Um, I think next time I come to the beach, I'll probably just wear a, um, a turtleneck. Maybe I'll draw less, um, yeah, maybe I'll get less people looking at me. But anyway, so today, well, lately I have been getting a lot of people, um, that, that have been um, DM me on Twitter versus emailing me. I know that a lot of the people that do follow on YouTube and talk interact with me on Twitter all have YouTube, all have Twitter accounts. So I figured, okay, maybe I should just get people to DM me their advice questions versus emailing me. I think that makes more sense. But yeah, I'm trying to look like a really like not awkward over here because I had to do like staring at me for like 15 minutes until I got my camera set up. But, you know, I could understand because I'm in a bikini and I'm talking to a camera. But anyway, so I am going to read you this question. And it's a very interesting one. Um, actually, I probably should start. Yeah, but anyway, let me find this question. And I'm going to read it to you. Okay. Here's what I want to know. Do you think a person could be in a committed relationship or marriage but still have sexual relations with some people outside of the relationship and not affect his or her love and attachment to the significant other? So, long story short, what he's pretty much asking is, do you think someone in a committed relationship can have an open relationship and it not Now, if you guys, this crackhead is gonna beat y'all. Anyway, so if you guys, um, you know, pay attention to these celebrities or whatever you have um, lately, like it's been like this whole trend thing of having like open relationships. I know, like for example, um, Will Smith and Jada, they have an open relationship. They have like kids. You know how old they are. They have kids that are like practically adults and they have open relationships. And according to them, it works. I probably need to like look up some recent articles on that because I haven't heard anything about their little open relationship recently. But when I started hearing about open relationships, especially like um, in the black community, um, black celebrity community, I think Jada and Pink, Jada Pinkett and Will Smith were the first ones that I was hearing about having open relationships. So another celebrity couple that has one is, what is that rapper's name? The one that sings uh, that song, I Don't Get Tired. I forgot his name. But anyway, so he, him and his wife have an open relationship. But the thing with their open relationship is that like, she, his wife allows him to sleep with other women, but only if she's there and she can sleep with um, other women while he's away. And then, what's another open relationship? The black celebrity. One more. There's these, there's these girls. Well, what's that? That D Ray. Okay, so D Ray, he has two girlfriends, which I would definitely consider an open relationship. 
And then there's somebody else that I was just thinking about the other day. It's these girls. It's like three girls and this one guy. I forgot what they call each other. I don't know. But anyway, so like I was saying, it's just been this like trend for celebrities to be in these open relationships. And I don't know, like it it doesn't really work. I can I must say it doesn't really work for everybody because there's a lot of people that are jealous and there's a lot of people that have this mindset where what's mine is mine and I shouldn't have to share it with anybody else and there's nothing wrong with that but at the same time there's people that have these open relationships and they have these open relationships so that they can make things work because there's some people it doesn't matter who they're with or how much in love they are with this person they cannot stay with one person cannot have sex relations with one person there's there are people that have the ability to I guess have sex relations with somebody else and then there not be any attachment but the fact that they're having sex and that's it and for some people it doesn't work out like that um, so I don't know for me I'm gonna say it I'm the type of person like what you do is your business and it has nothing to do with me and I'm not gonna judge and it's not my place to judge so I mean I open relationships I mean it really just depends on your partner and how open you got open you are with each other there's people that aren't open with each other so open relationships won't work with the work for them or they're just the type of person where they feel like it just it should just be them two and nobody else so I mean I do feel like there are people that have the ability to be in open relationships and then not be anything other than that. But at the same time, like there's people that aren't able to do it and I'm not saying everybody should have an open relationship. I think people that know how to make it work should be able to do it and without other people worried about what they're doing. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think, do you feel that people in open relationships are actually able to um, be in a committed relationship and not, and there be no strings attached with the other person? Or do you feel like emotions do get involved? I do feel like women are more likely, in my opinion, I feel like women are more likely to catch feelings in a no strings attached relationship than a man. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Would you guys ever be in open relationship? Would you guys ever be open to the idea of being in an open relationship? Just tell me what you guys think. Personally, I just feel like if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not knocking people that do have open open relationships, and I'm not knocking people who don't. I just feel like if you have a certain lifestyle that you're trying to live, it's your business, and it has nothing to do with anybody else or what they feel about it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys like videos like this on the beach, I will most definitely start doing that. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to record so you guys can see what the beach looks like because it's a really pretty day today. But yeah, so if you guys like videos like this, um, please like or leave a comment below. Let me know and I'll start doing more videos outside my little makeup room. But Thank you once again for watching. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, BBHawaii underscore. Um, please be sure to check out my website. My website is brownbeautyhawaii.com. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.